hello everyone today i'm going to show you how you can make your own relay tool inside nuke so this will be the very quick tip i will try my best to make uh, this small as possible so let's see how we can do the relay without any gizmos we are going to make our own tool we are going to see how you can do inside nuke so as you can see in this example i have this footage and i made a face mask using the the face builder and everything i did everything and here if i show you so this is i have and if i show you i have this normal pass now we are going to do a relight on this face so how we can do so it's a very simple all you need to do you just need to take a uh, one color matrix yes we are using this color matrix to perform that relight using the normal pass so i'm just connect this one here and we need one more thing we need a uh, axis okay just get this 3d axis and now i'm opening this property panel of this axis and also this color matrix side by side and as you can see we need the, we need to feed some information here in the matrix so in the axis panel you can see this local matrix just open it open this one and click on the specify and as you can see here we have see the four uh, row and column but in the color matrix we can see only the three so we just need to link this axis uh, matrix to this color matrix okay first three as you can see one two three we need to take one two and three that's it these three these three here okay so i'm going to do that I'm just pressing control click here drag it here I'm just linking one by one to this parameter as you can see just like that okay so as you can see I link all these three uh, to the color matrix now you can just close and if you press alt e you will see this expression line so it's telling you we are we are controlling this color matrix using the axis so if I view this here we you can't see anything because you need to uh, shuffle out normal layer so take a shuffle one okay and uh, just simply shuffle out that normal pass so now you can see the normal path and you don't have anything here so after this color matrix just add uh, one more shuffle or you can add expression and see this is i have my expression this is just normal expression now in the alpha you can see something so in this one what i'm basically doing i'm just merging rgb and just clamping so my alpha will be the one you can see okay so this is the basically the relight pass i mean the new relight normal but if i want silhouette here or silhouette in this face and top or bottom light so this axis is going to do that for us okay let's open this axis and first thing just uncheck this one because this is done so we can uh, control all these parameters here so all we need to do just rotate this one okay if i rotate you can see now we can do the relight see I'm now doing uh, left side and in this one we can basically y and z you can control the horizontal and vertical rotation see now i can do the relight from this side so this is the actual setup for the relight using the normal path and if you scale this one you can control the intensity as you can see with the axis so now i have a mask so what i can do I can take one grid and put it here on my plate and I can use this mask in my normal pass in C in this side and now I can do the relight thing very easily see let's I'm increasing this to 2 and I can go here and I can rotate this one let's see I don't want this side I want the other side which already have some light so i can do that here see as you can see now if i show you see I'm, i can increase the light intent to see gamma and all that crazy stuff 
see if I increase the gamma looking pretty good okay so this one you can easily see what what we are doing the main thing is the color matrix in the axis so these two are doing the magic here and you can use this technique to relight a 2d element also so here as you can see i have this image and i'm placing something here on this face this blood and as you can see this is my com small uh, com setup as you can see i have placed it here roughly and here i am doing the same thing just ignore these two see i'm doing axis and clamp and all that stuff and if i enable this one you can see the real light thing see if i show you here uh, where the pre mod is as you can see if i disable this is the normal 2d layer i got it from internet and if i do a real light now you can see it's, it's not uh, 2d anymore uh, it have some depth and uh, specs and everything everything so now if i show you see on and off you can see the difference clearly and what i'm doing here simply i'm i'm uh, i'm desaturating this one because this is the very red one and i'm desaturating and I'm adding this n mix so this thing is uh, making your 2d element into a normal pass as you can see i have r g and b so this is uh, my tool i made this one i will also provide uh, to download this thing in the video description you can go and check out this one also it's pretty easy so once i have a normal pass i can do the relight and as you can see if i show you the alpha you can see i have this relight mask and which i can use here to grade this one so i want this direction light so as you can see the specs is on the where the light is coming from this side so same thing you can do a relight with the smoke and everything as you can see i have this image as you can see very simple very subtle but it's affecting see again i'm using my tool to make a normal pass and making a mask as you can see this side if i show you here i can rotate this one let's see see if i want like that i can take this one and if i enable you can see it's affecting everywhere but you can easily mask out if i if you have a separate uh, smoke element and you are comping on your plate so as you can see here i have this one again so this one already have source of light and it's already affecting the smoke and everything but if you want more like if you want to increase uh, the relight here so you can uh, use this technique uh, you can make a normal pass and with that color matrix you can make a mask and you can basically grade it so if i show you this one you can see i'm adding extra light here on top and everything so uh, i will provide you link for this in make and one more cool thing we can do we can group this and you can add some controls and then you can save this as a tool set so this is what i exactly did this is my tool and mask so this have the same thing if i plug this one directly normal pass if i show you so as you can see we already have a relight and if i open the properties you can see we have a horizontal and vertical and we have multiplier for the boosting so if i make this one you can see we can horizontally rotate and vertically rotate this thing pretty easily and then you can directly plug this one here and we have a relight as you can see pretty strong but we have a relight you can reduce the intensity and we can do all kind of stuff here like that and if i open this one you can see what i have inside it's just the same thing we have we're doing and but he we have some extra stuff here over here so we can basically in this one we can output this as a mask so if i show you here if i disable we have in the alpha we have this one but if i select the output layer output mask so in the layer we have this layer as a mask so you can use this in a separate downstream path so this is pretty useful okay i will provide you a link for this one also you can download this one if you don't want to uh, do this step again and again but 
definitely learn this one this is pretty pretty easy and very powerful technique you can do inside new just for your information uh, if you download the nuke server toolkit in that one we have many relight tool if you go to the cg part uh, in here you you have a normal rotate tool and you, you also have a relight simple uh, somewhere here uh, relight and see relight simple uh, for the spin and all that uh, cool uh, tool set it's very important to know how you how to do inside new without any of these tools this is a very simple setup you can apply in your day-to-day uh, -day, uh, compositing workflow uh, if you want to create any 2d element you can use this one and you can easily relight your 2d element this is very useful for the 2d element and but it's also very useful for the 3d so you can do with these two nodes only the color matrix and the axis that's it thank you for watching i try to make this as quick as possible but i think you guys have to know uh, the basics and everything you need to understand the idea how you can do all this stuff i know it's getting along but i hope you enjoy please let me know any future topic you want keep learning and happy comping